Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Smart Rescue from Windows Studios. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up your web browser and then go into Key Masters. Once you're in Key Masters, you want to sign in. And then once you have signed in, you want to go to Purchased Assets. So I went to Purchased Assets, and then you should see Helicopter Rescue, and then Download. So you want to click Download, and it should download, hopefully, to your Downloads folder. So you want to open up the folder, close down your web browser, and now go into your server directory. For me, that will be in my hard drive, Servers, for video, FX Server, TX Data, CFX Default, Resources, go New, Folder, and we'll go for Smart Rescue. You can name it wherever you'd like them. I personally put it like that. You'll drag all the files inside the zip, put that into the Smart Rescue folder or whatever folder you named it. And now we want to add that to our server.cfg. So we want to start up the server. So just find your start file. So I've found my start file, it's now started. I need to open up my browser so I can go into localhost. And now that should make me be able to access my server.cfg. Now if I go into CFG editor, then we want to scroll down and then we want to go for ensure. And then we'll go back to what we named it as. For me that's smart rescue. I'm going to copy the name of it and then paste it and click save. But before we want to use it in the server, we want to do the config. So if we want to, if we want to open up config.lua, and within this config there's many things. Within the first section called settings, there is the object model, which comes with the script itself. The model is by Ace Prime Modifications. The rope offset, don't really touch that, don't really touch the top two things. The max rope length, if you want the rope to be longer, you can change it to put 100 is really long, but also 75 is really long as is, so you don't need to change that if you don't need to. Rope type, 2 and 3 are really nice ropes, 1 to 4 are thicker ropes, 5 are thinner ropes, 2, that's the one that it came with, you don't need, really need to change it, and the rope roll-in speed, it's all how fast you want the rope to roll in when you're got the basket down or when it's going up. You don't really need to change this. This is this optional sound integration. You can enable it or disable it and you can also change the volume. Uh, this is the native UI. If you do not change this if you don't know what you're doing because this will change the colour, the background layer 1, background layer 2, the text data and the other text data. And it'll, and it'll enable everything. I would don't recommend you this unless you know what you're doing. Uh, these are the hotkeys. So, to spawn a rescue basket, it'll be your E key. To sit on the rescue basket, it will also be the E key because you won't do both when you're at, because the spawn is when you're spawning it to attach to the helicopter, and when you're sitting on it, you're getting rescued. When you start connecting the rescue basket, that'll be your X key, attaching the rescue basket to the heli. Is also the X key to detach is holding X. To make the basket go down, it's the down arrow. To make the lock the rope lock, it's the right arrow. And to make the basket go up, it's the up arrow. From here, this is all the permissions for ACE permissions, ESX, VRP, and QB core. I'm not going to change any of this, just you as I use a V menu server. Down here. This is in only important if you change the keys. Because if you change the key from, for example, uh, 51 to 50, when we go on to the uh, key masters, this website here, I mean, sorry, the basic ace principles, or the keys, sorry, the keys for 5M. So if we look up keybind 5M, so the control docs, and we go into here and we go to, let's for example, we want to put it as Z. So we could change it from up to here, change that to 20, 
But then when we go down here, it will still say it's the E key. So we need to change it to input multiplayer info in this box here. I'm not going to change that though, as that's not required. This bit down here, this is just if nothing that you require just now. But this bit here is important if you want to add more locations. So, most of them are at hospitals or they are at other places within the map. You will not need to change with this unless you have got custom buildings that have helipads that are not within these coordinates. Uh, these are the messages, all the custom ones that comes up when you're doing it. And in this built-in UI, you don't need to do anything with that. So this is the config that loaded. We can close out of that. And we can start up the server to see if it's worked. So if we want to connect to the server, and then I'll see you there. Okay, so now that we have loaded into the server, we want to go to the nearest location that is in within the coordinates that is in the file. For me, the one I'm going to use is down at the hospital. Uh, this hospital here, uh, due to it having it, it's the Central Los Angeles Medical Center. This is one has it. So once you come to the medical center, you can s you should be able to see that it says spawn rescue basket here with a moving circle. If we go near the circle and click the E key, you'll see that a rescue basket spawns. So when you're near the rescue basket, it'll say press E to lay down. So if you press E, you'll be laying on the rescue basket and for example when it's on a helicopter you'll be getting carried but if we want to attach that to a helicopter what we need to do is we need to go in and let's go for Palmav uh, no actually that wouldn't be a good one to use because that's a police helicopter let's go as the um, let's go for, for the Maverick just as we can uh, it can work on any helicopter within the game. I'll show you it with a different few, a few different examples. Um, if we were it here, oh sorry. If we no, you need to have it above 7.5 meters. And as you can see, if I click X, it should, I need to be 7.5 meters off the ground to attach the rope of the basket. So it should. There we go. As you can see, now if we go back up, as you can see, it is there. We can lower it. Look, that's it lowered, and then we can constantly lower it down until it gets to the full length. And then once it's all the way lowered, we'll be able to lock it by clicking the right key. And as you can hear, there is custom sounds. So now that it's lowered, we can lock it and then wait until the person comes in it. So if we lock it at this height here, we are now locked, the rope length in place, it's now touched the ground it's saying for us, uh, but you can use it for collecting someone and then once you've done that you can, I'm pretty sure, unlock it and then lift it up with the person or whatever is inside. There is custom sounds as you can hear. I think it's actually pulling us down because it's locked. Oh no. Uh, there we go. That's it. We've now managed to catch it. When it's at its shortest height, it is a bit rigid, but you can always put it down one just to make it less rigid, for example, like this. And then it's just a little bit less rigid. But of course, if someone's inside it, they might get swung around a bit. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, now that we've for example you've crashed the helicopter and you're needing to drop the mail as quick as possible you'll hold the X key until the basket drops and then you're able to do whatever you need with the aircraft for example jump out or land it um, I'll show you an example with another helicopter just now if we just quickly spawn in a different one let's go for a a havoc nope no that's a small one let's go for a cargo bob for example one of these bigger ones and you want to go along, do a humanitarian aid mission, and you've been told to collect a male who's on a who's needing assistance, getting lifted due to the rescue helicopter not working properly. 
we need to be able to go down we'll get a rescue uh, basket if we just quickly land I'm sorry for my flying I am not very good with keyboard and mouse flying um, we land and then we go up and we click E to spawn a rescue basket so we'll quickly get back into our helicopter and then we'll attach the rescue basket to this helicopter just gotta make sure that we're up high enough that it lets us attach it there we go that's us attached it and now it works it works it works on any helicopter at all um, and it can be used for multiple things with an RP so hope this video helped you installing this resource if you need any assistance check the London Studios documentation website or go into the support section of